Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Charmi Patel from Upper Cervical Chiropractic of Georgia, and welcome to our health workshop. Today, we'll be discussing how upper cervical chiropractic care and how blood pressure go hand in hand. High blood pressure is one of the leading causes of deaths in the United States of America and all across the world. Medication for hypertension are being prescribed in record amounts to control this epidemic. It is getting increasingly worse for the younger population. Today, I will discuss a plan to address some conservative ways in which one can manage their hypertension. Conservative care consists of chiropractic adjustments, diet, nutrition, exercise, and a person's mental health. Although hypertension is one of the leading causes of deaths, it is also the one that's most preventable disease we face as human beings. Hypertension is more of a disease of a life decisions and the environment one lives in. What is high blood pressure? It varies from the strength of a heartbeat, the elasticity of the arterial walls, the volume and the velocity of the blood and a person's health, age and physical condition. So when a person has high blood pressure, it can have negative impact on the body altogether. This is why the disease affects so many people and proper management and diagnosis are key to effectively treat hypertension. Blood pressure is measured by the systolic blood pressure and the diastolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure measures the amount of pressure that the blood excerpts on arteries and the vessels while the heart is beating. Diastolic is the pressure that is excreted on the walls of various arteries around the body in between heartbeats and when the heart is relaxed. These numbers can be affected by many factors as if a person was hydrated or dehydrated and even if a person is standing or sitting while taking this blood pressure. What is high blood pressure affected by? Blood pressure rates are affected by several bodily functions. The blood, the blood vessel conditionings, the nervous system, kidneys, and some intrinsic hormones all have influence on a person's blood pressure. Other factors playing a role in blood pressure readings are a patient's level of stress, how often a patient feels anxiety, if they smoke, consumption of caffeine, as well as alcohol, the salt intake, diabetes, and a history of hypertension, and as well as obesity. These factors can work solo or together to change a patient's blood pressure. An increase in blood pressure can be caused by side effects from using of prescription drugs such as birth control pills, diet pills, certain cold medications. Pregnancy has also been known to increase a woman's blood pressure during their conception years. Hypertension is known as a silent killer due to the fact that symptoms do not only manifest themselves, often until a person is suffering from some type of cardiovascular disease. So why say no to drugs? Most, mostly patients with high blood pressure are placed on prescription drugs. Statin drugs are usually prescribed due to, due to their cholesterol lowering ability. There are some other medications that are used to lower blood pressures, such as ACE inhibitors, angiotensin II receptors, blockers, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and et cetera. Some medication work to relax blood vessels and to prevent them from shrinking. These are known as ACE inhibitors and also angiotensin II receptors. There are also drugs that work by blocking the nerves and the hormonal signals to the heart and blood vessels, which allow the, for, the body, for the blood pressure to decrease. And these are known as, known as your beta blockers. 
Other dr drugs work by preventing calcium from influencing the heart and the blood vessel muscle cells, which in turn allow, uh, allow the muscle cells to relax, therefore causing the blood vessels to widen. Calcium channel blockers are not without negative side effects. The side effects include constipation, which may lead to one needing a second prescription for a laxative to co-manage the problem. Diuretics have been known to cause a person from suffering from hypertension to become extremely dehydrated, which can lead to another health risk. Antihypertensive drugs have been known to have side effects of dizziness or fainting. These side effects can be extremely dangerous when dealing with elderly patients who are already at risk at the population for falls due to the decrease of cerebellum function. The increase in falls is an extremely bad side effect due to the fact that high percentage of deaths in elderly populations are due to falls. Some side effects of antihypertensive medication include dry mouth, drowsiness, and frequent urination. This can cause interruption of sleep. Beta blockers can cause cold and light sensitivity as well as headaches or a negative side effect. Potassium can be supplied, supplemented due to the loss of a negative side effect of antihypertensive medications. Tenderness, sw um, swelling, and bleeding of gums are some other side effects. It is known that these medications can cause upset stomach and nausea in some of the population. It is estimated seven out of 10 Americans use medication to treat their hypertension. And if you didn't know already, it is estimated that one in three adult Americans approximately 68 million people suffer from high blood pressure. Another 30% of American adults have prehypertension, which greatly increases the risk of developing high blood pressure. Uh, $131 billion are spent annually in direct medical expenses. And it is estimated that 25 billion in loss of productivity. So the topic of today, upper cervical care can lower blood pressure more effectively than two blood pressure medications combined. There was a Chicago study of 50 individuals with a misaligned atlas vertebra, which is located in the high upper neck area, and a high blood pressure showed that after one time specified specific adjustment, blood pressure decreased significantly. The decrease was equal to taking two blood pressure medications at once. Unlike other vertebrae, which interlock one to the next, the atlas, also known as C1, relies solely upon soft tissue meaning muscles and ligaments, to maintain alignment. Therefore, it is uniquely vulnerable to displacement. Displacement of C1 can occur without pain and thus often goes undetected and untreated. There's a small group of chiropractic specialists have foregone typical full spine manipulations, limited their practice to precise, delicate, manual alignment of a single vertebrae, C1. So what's structurally happening? That's the real question. The vertebral arteries that feed the brainstem actually pass through the upper cervical spine. As we see in the picture, the vertebral artery passes through C2 and loops into C1 and goes into the brainstem. We can also see right at that C1 and C2, the arteries take some pretty drastic turns as it runs up into the skull, which feeds the brainstem. So you can only imagine if there is rotation or compression through that area, 
it is not going to be ideal for those arteries to make it up to that skull. Now the body is very intelligent. We all know that. We don't think about this, but the head is like an extremity, just like an arm or a leg. It is coming off the body. But the major difference is that the skull is your brain. And it is controlling all the function throughout your body. So what the body will do intelligently, if there is compression and the blood isn't allowed to enter at 100% into the skull and feed the brain, it will increase the, the pressure. The heart will start to pump harder, increasing the pressure into the entire circuit to get more blood into the head. So can you imagine, just imagine what your body is can go through not getting the blood properly being flowed to the brain? Can you imagine if the dis, dis ease your body has to go through because you're misaligned at C1 and C2? This is why it is so important for your body to be aligned and our upper cervical spine needs to be checked. So we are offering you today and today only that you will have an opportunity to address the physical and chemical and emotional factors that might endure your health overall. Today's offer, we are giving a consultation, upper cervical analysis and x-rays only for $50 if the appointment is scheduled today. This is a $250 value. Thank you for joining our health talk today at Upper Cervical Chiropractic of Georgia. Dr. Charmi Patel here. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at dr.patel at getwellgeorgia.com. Have a fantastic day and hope you guys are all doing great.